I feel like it's missing something though. What do you mean? I don't know. It's missing something. 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 What did she mean when she said it's missing something? Even my friends and their kids reckon it's missing something. It's missing something. It's missing something! I'm gonna have to do some research. In this video, I am installing uh, RGB rock lights. You know, everyone's probably just gonna pay me out for this video for having rock lights. Alrighty, back in the shed for another installation. What we're gonna be installing is the rock lights. Welcome back to another video. Today what we're doing is we're installing some rock lights. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Get That Bread and I've finally figured out what the nav is missing. Rock lights. Rock lights is what it's missing. So, you'll see there's one missing out of this box because I'll be messing around with it. I also have a new camera and microphone so hopefully no matter where I am you'll actually be able to hear what I'm saying and even if a car drives past I don't have to stop, restart. What a time to be alive. Um, yeah, we're chucking rock lights on. Let's, let's just get straight into it. Just for something different, we're working on the ground. In the kit, you get all of the lights, obviously. Um, so it's a supernova kit. I think it was like a couple hundred bucks when I bought it. Um, comes with all your lights, comes with the like brackets to hold them on come with huge self tappers and nuts and bolts um, slightly overkill i think they will be um, they come with the control box that you plug them all into um, and they even come with a, a switch as well um, i actually bought a, another switch from switch boss you'll be able to slot into one of the blank plates as well inside the nav but this has rock lights written on it. Focus, focus. Seems simple enough. Put the lights where you want them, run the wire to your box, connect box to battery, put switch in car. Um, so we've got eight lights in this kit. So I'm gonna go the four wheel wells, either side, and then front and back. The easiest thing to do first will be the wheel wells. Let's go with that. Put a bit of split tubing just on the on the cable in here and i've got some thicker split tubing as well for in the engine bay so try and keep as neat as possible um, i'm going to do the exact same thing as this on the other side and then whilst i'm doing that i'm going to charge the camera battery because i'm a bit of a noob and i have not charged the battery so we've got front one on and then I've mirrored that on the other side with this one as well. And there's a identical hole on this side too. So just got those wires sitting in here for now. And I thought, I thought the ones in the middle were gonna be a pain to figure out, but what I'm gonna do is come under here with me. So where the 
So where the side steps used to be are a couple of bolts with some nuts on them. And they're pretty much directly in the middle of the nav. So I'll try and get them to sit off this. The only thing is like if I ever get rock sliders, they may not shine down kind of thing. Like if the rock slider impedes on it, but um, I guess that would depend on the slider and everything. But I think this will do perfectly for now. I need to figure out where we're going to put the rear one and where we're going to make the one for back here. Maybe off this, whatever the hell this is, guard thing. Might have to make another bracket. That'd probably be the easiest. Hanging off here somewhere. That took me way too long to do up those brackets, but we got it done. Now, the rear. I might as well tuck it in behind the number plate here and I'll just drill a hole for the cable and it'll just clamp to, to the rear bumper there and we'll be laughing. With the brackets that I made up, when I put the light on it, I was trying to see where I had to put a hole on here, but what I should have done is made it longer so I could offset. So there's a section here where the bolt from the car can actually come out and then this will sit offset because otherwise if I put that there, the bolt can't come out this way. <sighs> Completely fucked it. The next day. Morning guys, it is the next day and I went to Bunnings this morning and got a bit of, I don't know, what do you call it? Angle, a bracket. So I'll be able to drill the holes into this and it'll offset for the ones in the middle and last night I was thinking about it the ones I made yesterday should still be able to use these ones in here because they won't have a bolt protruding back out this way so it won't actually foul on the light itself so these weren't a waste of time um, but yeah, two of them were a waste of time. Anyway, so we'll just get straight into it. I think lesson learned yesterday was I should just do one at a time. So then I know what to do on the other side. Because if I had just done this one, I would have realized, oh, I fucked up. And then fixed it before I uh, went too far. So anyway, so we'll make up these brackets for the ones in the middle, chuck the ones on the back, and then the rear one's already mounted. And then we just have to run the wires and then sort out the um, placement of the box under the hood and everything. I have finished all the drilling needed on the brackets. Gave them a splash of black paint. So now I've just been sort of crawling around, figuring out where I'm gonna run the wires for everything. But on this side, there's actually, if it's gonna show up, a loom that runs across the side of the chassis. So I'm gonna follow everything on this side, I'm gonna follow here and on the passenger side it actually runs across the top of the chassis so I'll do that for the other side you can literally follow that loom up and in and then on the other side uh, where I've done the diff breather line from the rear I can actually just follow that pretty much all the way up into the bay as well so that's gonna be the most tedious part is just feeding all the wires through um, there's probably gonna be a fair bit left over um, on some other videos that I've watched, uh, people usually just tape up all the excess stuff 
and sort of tuck it away in the engine bay, but I'll be able to tackle that once we get to it. Um, so whilst those brackets are drying, I may as well start running the lines and get everything in place. One eternity later. Remember how I said I should do one side at a time, get right, and then do the other side. Well, getting ahead of myself and wiring everything up whilst the brackets were drying, I forgot once I put the brackets on, I need to feed the wire through the bracket. <sighs> so now all of that wiring on this entire side and one on the other side, I have to undo, put it through the, the bracket and then do it again. about another 30 centimeters to actually reach the box. Um, I've just got shit everywhere at the moment. I'm gonna have to come back and tackle this again tomorrow, but I thought I would give myself a treat and see if it actually works. Yeah, look at that. The next day. Sunday morning. Of this spaghetti and clean up this absolute pigsty. Wednesday afternoon, just finished work for the day. So we got the extension that we need for the rear rock light in the mail. I um, actually bought this from Terraloom Industries. Um, so not where I actually brought the rock lights from, but it's just a small one meter extension. Where we got up to the other day, I ended up putting everything wrapped up. I still need to sort of make it a bit more neater because that obviously looks like absolute ass, but I just left this one hanging out here so I can connect up the the rear one which is hanging down the bottom there. Once that's connected I'll run this back up to here 
make that a bit neater in, in the engine bay. And we'll see what it looks like. So if I press the button and stop being rude with things in our mouth. Excellent. So all we have to do now is wait till night time. Just, yeah, look at the slide. No, I look at the scene. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, look at the scene. Okay. It's, it's missing, missing something. something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys are as bad as me. <laughs> <laughs> God, my back. Be lazy and get. Oh no. Success.